Hi guys, so we are back again from our search for fuel from from our search for new notes. It wasn't easy this like this past few months. We small search, you get on. The struggle was real. So now now so like we are back to talk about resource factor. What is resource factor? A resource factor simply means that when you have a protein in your red blood cell that is resource factor so just then also like if you have the protein then you are resource factor uh, positive so then if you do not have the the if you don't have the protein then you are resource factor negative just that just that for that it's not hard life no hard that's it that's it basically that's why you have like different varieties of or rather that's why you have varieties of blood group you hear something like o positive o negative o a positive a negative b positive b negative so the racist factor is actually that positive yeah, or that negative positive whatever thing there. so if you're o positive you should know you actually have that protein in your the yeah, walls you of your red blood cell but if you're negative meaning you lack that protein, that protein. in your red blood cell it's not you like know, it's, it's not like it's sickness so before you start thinking you know, no, no, anything it's not actually sickness, it's not it's very sickness, maybe a marker in it, but it's not yeah, exactly it's like not, a marker. It's, it's, it's not actually a sickness. It's interesting, yeah. wow. So basically, this racist factor, there's nothing to really worry about it. But in a situation where, as a mother, because it's it's mainly or basically important when it comes to pregnancy, yeah, that exactly. like conceiving mm. and all. So right as now, a so this uh, <laughs> like this uh, this thing now we just passed, like this. Valentine's Day, yeah, and you know, mm, a lot of it should be expecting, so yeah, exactly. I yeah. also expect <laughs> as a lady, you actually need to know your status, even as a man, too. You need to know your status, yes, yes. it's actually very important. Although, based on statistics, 85 percent of people yeah, are actually yeah, racist actually, factor positive. positive. Yeah. So if you're actually racist factor positive, you really don't have any issue. So if you're O positive, you're A positive, you're B positive, you actually don't have any issues. But if you're a lady and you you are racist factor negative, that's where there might be some issues and you have to actually know your yeah, status yeah, and do some certain things before you get pregnant or while doing your pregnancy. So if you're racist factor negative and your partner happens to be racist factor positive yeah. and you actually get pregnant and the baby becomes racist factor positive with you being negative, that's like two yeah, different yeah, two, two, yeah, 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 there are like two different factors. Yeah. So I'm like it's different. not going to be compatible. It's not going to be compatible. Not not like it's not going to be compatible per se. The mom, your racist factor negative, and um, your whole body, meaning your red blood cell, there is this protein lacked in it. There is no protein in it, and you come in contact. Your blood comes in contact with a blood that actually has the positive racist factor that has the protein. So initially, when it invades, the body will see it as a threat. But at that moment, it doesn't have immunity. Yeah, so the body will sure. bounce back and build up an immunity yeah. for a next time encounter. So that's what happens in the first pregnancy that you see, okay, there's no complications or anything because the body hasn't built Use that the strong immunity. immunity. So as in like it's to not say that it's not go and gym to so not get stronger for the next uh, like for the invasion. Next, yeah, the next invasion of the foreign body. So now imagine the next time it comes in contact with that blood, it will attack. The blood as yeah, it will, <laughs> it will attack it as if it's a virus or something it doesn't know, but it, not a welcome body per se. So this is what happens when a mother that is negative gets pregnant with a child that is positive. So usually, normally, on a normal cir circumstance during pregnancy, the mother and the baby doesn't. The blood don't come in contact actually. It's only food that is passed through to the baby or whatever. Yeah, exactly. But it's mainly during childbirth. Yeah, childbirth. During childbirth, sometimes there might be a leakage in the blood, probably entering the baby or vice versa, whatever way it should be. So when this blood gets into the baby bloodstream, 
it can actually start attacking the baby's normal red blood cell because obviously it's suspecting a foreign yeah, body a foreign in the blood. Body, as in like a gem or something. Yes, that which is the protein. So yeah. once it starts noticing that protein and it starts attacking it, it will lead to breakdown of the blood cell, which will lead to anemia. Uh, which will uh, which will lead to a hemolytic anemia. Yes, which means lack of blood cells due to the fact that it's being yeah, killed yeah, and like brutalized attacking all the red blood cells in, in the baby. baby's body. Poor baby. Poor baby. Innocent baby that doesn't need it. Innocent picking. So this can actually lead to other conditions in the baby as well as death. It can actually kill the baby because obviously the baby is not producing enough red blood cells to like fill in for the ones that are being destroyed. <laughs> Actually, this situation can really be avoided, and the first step in avoiding it is actually knowing your racist factor. factor. It's not as in like it's not hard. All these things they are not hard. Just go and do tests. Yes. Do your racist factor. And normally, in your first once once you once you're doing pregnancy test and you just see you're pregnant, the first thing you should do is go and know your racist factor. I'm yeah. not gonna say normally you're supposed to know because as we're here like this we now are old. You're actually supposed to know as in normal as in before pregnancy. Yeah, you're actually pregnancy. supposed to. But if you say, oh yeah, let's just be like okay, you do not know before pregnancy. Well, immediately you get pregnant, go and get, know, go for blood tests to know your racist factor. Then that's a, if you find out your racist factor negative, they're actually. There is actually an injection which is racist in the yeah. Yes. So what it does is that it suppresses your body from attacking. Yeah. Uh, attacking this child, you know, like this poor child. Yes. From attacking any racist factor. So usually this injection is given at 28 weeks of pregnancy, and it's also given within 72 hours of childbirth. That after you give birth, between 10 and 22 hours, you should be able to take your racist immunoglobulin injection as a racist factor negative mother. So for those ladies that have actually gotten pregnant before in the past and probably lost the pregnancy due to miscarriage, due to abortion or whatever means, you're actually supposed to take as a racist factor negative lady, you're actually supposed to still take the injection regardless of whether giving birth or not giving birth. So far you've actually gotten pregnant, you are supposed to take the injection. And even if yes, maybe you forgot to take the injection or whatever the case may be, you should actually go for a test to know the compatibility, whether you have actually been sensitized or what. That's to know if they've actually been an immunity, a built up immunity already against the racist factor positive. So you need to actually go for a test for that and see whether you're actually in line to taking the racist factor immunoglobulin. So now that's that for that now. So please and please try and check your resource factors. Try and try and go and do the test so that so that you so that you will know the resource factor that you are. Whether it's like whether you are positive, whether you're negative. You have to know all these things. And we're not saying just the ladies. You yeah, to your, both, the men. You actually partner. have to know. Men, men, men. It's not everything ladies. Lady, lady, lady. You say try and check your own factor. So that you can save your wife and the baby. And the baby. Save everybody. Make the world a better place. So thank you everyone for watching. I know you've missed us so much and we've actually missed you so much. I'm telling you, so like, I've really missed you have I have really missed the the show. <laughs> We we'll missed our viewers. We we'll missed so much, and yeah, we forgot to tell you Happy New Year. And and what? Please like, subscribe, share the words. Yeah, uh, yeah, as in, uh, So please, so please try and share, try and share to expecting mothers, to mothers that grow. Share to everybody. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> share to everybody. Like it's. <laughs>